Okay, hello and welcome back to Let's Play Salil. And this will be uh, number five, I suppose, in our, <coughs> in our Let's Play so far. So let's see what we can do with our new ability to pick things up. Oh, flowers, I remember we can speak to them. Oh. Yes, I do look strong for a 14-year-old. Throw! So yes, anyway, on to a new dungeon. Haha! Now that we can jump, there's uh, different switches that we can jump on rather than just hit with our sword. As much as I like hitting things with the sword. Not any um, challenging puzzles yet though. You'll notice that if you ever do anything, um, tread on a tread on a switch or something like that, then <coughs> like some dust goes along the floor to whichever um, opening you've managed to open up, like that. Oh, in this dungeon though, it's the first time that we get ranged. Uh, bad guys, and they're shrimps, and they are the most annoying of any of the uh, enemies in the game so far, to this point. We'll spend some time looking for... Oh, this is a nice little bit here. You'll notice that we've got, like, Ninja Gaiden style... Um, wind taking it around. Well, it alternates between left and right, and obviously that's too far to jump, so we wait for the wind. And whoa, <laughs> and still nearly falling. As I said, this this first area is not too hard, although you know. It's, it is tricky, of course it's tricky. It's not going to be, it's not going to be easy. Another nice big bag of gold. But we've got to wait for the wind to be going in the right direction, then. Hopefully, we'll get another boss in in this episode. Keep things going at a nice, nice pace. Even if we've got a bit of dead time here. Whoop whoop! Ah, uh, stuff it. Come on, can I get there? No. Wait for more wind. Aha. Sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. More coins. Coins coming. Uh, decent pace at the moment. That's for certain. Leave him over there. Catch a couple of slugs. You filthy slugs! Happy slugs, though. Oh, jump. Oh, in you go, dog. Yeah, later on in the game, we won't be using the dog all that much at all. I mean, we're not really using them all that much now. Apart from a little convenience every now and then. Ah! Stupid wind! Stupid 
stupid shrimps. Oh yeah. What a load of rubbish. Mm. Yeah, no! <laughs> Come on! Just being silly now. Eh? This is a silly game. Oh, let's not go to Camelot. This is a silly place. No! No! Gotta get the bloody cat now! Stupid game! Oh, look, apples. Yeah, I really want apples, eh? I'd like nothing more than some pathetic, useless, don't need them at all apples. I'm so upset that I'm not gonna do anything more in this level apart from get to the boss. It's really upset me now! Yes, I've come for the penguin. I'm not leaving without the penguin. Go, throwing sword. Take that, octopus. Every decent game has an octopus box. That is the truth. Oh, come on. I only just missed him. Whoa. Something about octopuses just make great bosses. Yeah. You good for nothing, penguin? He's a great penguin. Look, his maximum health points increased. Say no, you can come with me. Pengy the penguin joins the group. Pengy the penguin. Come on then, Pengy. Let's put you into the Yeah. I got Pengy. Not like Pingu. by this cat again. Oh, I so nearly didn't need you, you big waste of 50 gold. Right, just before I uh, end up here, I'm going to do some more time manipulation and take you off to a secret that I couldn't be bothered to get at the time because I was just too wound up. Okay, here we are. So we've um, got up to where I was going to show you this secret. Just to the left of um, one of the places we've been in, in this last dungeon. Yeah, end up with this little situation. Right, what we've got to do at this point is, really quickly, get from like A point A to A point B. Come on! Oh, I hate the wind. Especially when you're in some sort of hurry. So you got to chuck your sword over there, quickly turn around and get down there. Just like that! Alright! And in you go, for a sweet sweet apple. Okay, I shall see you all back at the... Uh, the village next time around and we shall carry on from there.